Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for iOS, where today we're doing something a little special, because I unlocked it through some off-screen shenanigans. We are going to be fighting us, a Gen 2 Fatalis. This is the high rank one, so it should not immediately murder me. But I don't really remember much about Fatalis in this game, though Castle Shrade is very different than it is in Gen 4. Oh, yeah, we get to see Fatalis do its doofy flight animation. Extra tiling on the floor. Okay, so Fatalis. I mean, it's still going to be a Fatalis, but, uh, the area we fight it in is different than in later games. Um, it's flying for some reason. I guess it wants to be a Rathalos. I mean, the music says as much as well. So, fighting Fatalis in this version of Castle Shrade, there is one pretty neat interaction we're going to get to do. And that's using the portcullis against it, which is pretty cool. It's a neat concept that I kind of wish they would have kept. But, yeah, other than that, I don't really recall much about Fatalis in this game. Apparently, it really likes flying and doing fireballs, though. It really likes doing them. You gonna land? If this was a Crimson Fatalis, that would have called a Meteor, but in this case, it seems to have done exactly nothing. Also, it seems that we're fairly... Okay, not entirely safe if we stay under the shadow. Because of that tail... Ow. That must have been the tail that got us. Otherwise, we probably would have taken more damage. Ow. Yep, we definitely would have taken more damage if it was the Fireball. Okay, not a fan when he flies at low altitude like that, because then the tail just chips away at you. So, activating the portcullis, how is that achieved? That's something I'm going to need to figure out. So let's climb up here, maybe we'll find an answer. Nope, this is just a ballista. Okay. Is there perhaps a portcullis button somewhere? Well, I mean, there has to be. The question is where that somewhere is. Well, let me climb. Thank you. Hmm. Not over here by the look of it. That doesn't even seem to have a climbable surface. So it must be on the other side of the arena somewhere. Let's get back to this guy. 
We need to put our hammer on him some more. You don't gotta yell twice. I heard you the first time. I'm not wearing earplugs there. Didn't like me hitting his hand, I guess. That wind effect, though. So if he's doing a high altitude flight, hanging out near his shadow is just fine. But low altitude means the tail is a jerk. So, uh, you're gonna... You gonna do anything, or are you just flying for the sake? Oh, he's moving. All right, so that means we need to go somewhere. Um, this looks like it probably just lead to the cannon. That's also just a cannon. There's a Dragonator. I suppose we should try and make use of that. Oh, there's a higher platform here. Maybe this would lead to the portcullis. Nope, it just connects this. Okay, um... I must sincerely wonder where the portcullis button is. But I do know that I want to lead this guy over to this Dragonator. Because the correct time to use a Dragonator is early and often. Yeah, feel free to fly over this way, buddy. He pushed me away from it. I think I hit. Sure is a fisheye camera they're using here. Look at that neck. So that was just a fake roar. Is that what that was? Ow. Seriously though, portcullis button, where? How does one use the portcullis? Inquiring minds want to know. Inquiring minds also want to put their hammer all over his face, but he needs to put his face towards the ground more often. And it seems get in the face while he's landing is the best time. So I'm going to need to make sure I time my charges up properly so that I can take advantage of them. Yeah, I had heard that that was his most damaging attack in this game. And that the hitbox was his entire body. Didn't realize it would be that much damage from a high rank one, though. Oh, look who's taken off again. Nope, oh, he was not leaving. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, looks like... Or no, he's just taking steps towards my cat. I was thinking he might be walking to directly under the portcullis. Not that I would know where to do the portcullis thing. I, I seriously do need to figure that out. Because if I don't, then I'm just leaving damage on the table. And leaving damage on the table isn't the greatest plan. Okay, so this is just a ballista. And on the other side here is just a cannon. Maybe... It wouldn't be inside the base camp, would it? Maybe I need to pay more attention to, like, the ground near the portcullis. Oh, there's definitely nothing over here that would be used. Are you... are you leaving? No, you're just... You wanna... You're turning? For reasons unknown? Seriously, though, that, that tail makes me nervous. It keeps me from getting too close, which means I have to be where he can fireball me. Truly a nasty little trick. Why is that one spot elevated? If it doesn't have, like, a portcullis button or anything. What's the point of elevating it? I mean, it's entirely possible that I won't be able to make use of the portcullis anyway because I'm playing solo. Like, maybe you need someone to actually lead him under it rather than just having him go under it by himself. But I can't claim to know for sure. What I can claim is to have a desire to once again check out this high spot, even though I'm pretty sure it does not have what I want. Yeah, there's, there's nothing up here. I guess this is like a platform for gunners. Is that what this is? That's probably what that is. So, what's in the base camp? Okay, we've got a bed, we've got cannonballs, we've got an item box with lots of nice things. And even a map. Just in case you get lost in the single area. pleased that there doesn't appear to be any kind of button that would be used to operate the portcullis. Uh, stay put. He didn't stay put. Okay, not seeing anything up here, so... Yeah, portcullis button, where? How do? Nothing over here. Hmm. 
Like, I want nothing more than to nail this guy with the portcullis, but I don't know how to activate it. Ow. Sounds like my feline defense low kicked in for that. Like, he is almost right under the portcullis. Maybe just getting him under it is all you need? Maybe it goes automatically? That would be nice. Hey, buddy, over here. But not flying. Please? Please not flying? Buddy, you're not even pointed at anyone. Yeah, maybe just leading him under it is all that needs to happen. That would be nice. Hey, buddy, over here. Over here. You know you want to come over here. Yeah, that's right. No, you're, you're turning the wrong way. You're turning the absolute wrong way. There's nobody over there. What are you... What, are you, are you going to fly to change sides? Is, is that it? No, you're, you're just flying to fly? What is your deal, guy? Okay, Fatalis, come on, man. You gotta work with me on this one. You are not working with me. What you are doing right now is perhaps the opposite of working with me. You are, you are working against me, sir. Oh, he didn't like that. Okay, I don't think Fatalis is very leadable. So I'll go ahead and stop trying for a while. Maybe if we get him angrier, he'll be more leadable. Hurry up and land. Yeah. Let that go a bit too early if I wanted to hit his face with the good part. to do more fireballs. And because we know this, we hang out near his shadow because he's high altitude. And then he lands on us. Okay. Okay, I'm going to need him to not do so much flying. There's not a whole lot I can do to him when he's in the air. Maybe I should have grabbed those bounce bombs from the base camp. Though admittedly, bounce bombs probably wouldn't really solve my problem that well. They're a source of damage, sure, just not a great one. Oh, he's moving. Okay, I guess I can go over here then. I like how my character was repeatedly getting ahead of and then behind the Fatalis and just kind of stutter stepping because he couldn't decide whether to do the I'm running away or running towards animation. Uh, you need to land faster. And that was a face break. Of which there are three, I'm sure. Well, 
the game give us a prompt when the Dragonator's ready again? I'm not certain. But I should be ready again before long, yeah? Spending a little more time on the ground now, which is nice. And he seems to be doing a sick set of burpees. like we've broken the chest at some point. Right. He can stay in the air. surprised I didn't take a hit there. Where are you going, buddy? Just up, or are you actually doing something here? Seems like the answer is just up. Oh, oh. Jerk flapped forward a little bit there. Kind of want to go up here and just check on the Dragonator. So I'm going to go ahead and do exactly that. And if it's not pressable, then fine. I'll make my way over to the Ballista, I guess. Because we do have some ballista shots. And I'm pretty sure those wings are breakable. And I can't really hit those with my hammer. Oh, it's usable again. So the game does not prompt us when it's usable. It just trusts us to kind of know the timing. Which, unless it's different from later games, is just once per 10 minutes. So over here, big fella. You've flown over here before. I trust you can do it again. Thankfully, those fireballs are not actually aimed for us, but rather just in our general direction and follow the same arc like always, I guess. So, yeah, over here, big buddy. Our friend the Dragonator would like to play with you. And it requires you to actually get over here. Why are you unwilling to fly over here this time? You were so willing the last time. Did I do something wrong? Is that it? Gen 4 Fatalises are much more mobile. They don't fly as much. Which, honestly, I like because you can't hit them while they're flying. And they look really dumb in their flight pose. Especially because those wings are nowhere near big enough to hold that thing aloft. Buddy, you're not going to hit me with those fireballs. If you could just approach the Dragonator, that would be great. And Cat, if you could stop jumping down, you would stop encouraging him. Fine, what if I'm not on the button? Then would you want to come down here? Rather over here? 
You better not be going to the other side. I think he's going to the other side. Maybe he's going to the other side. Maybe he's actually coming over here. I have no idea what he's doing. He's going to the other side. Well then. Waste of my time. But hey, maybe by some miracle he'll decide to actually walk over in this direction. Wouldn't that be something? Get him under the portcullis and maybe it'll just fall on him or maybe he'll just be able to be dragonated. Either way, I would be happy. So, Fatalis, how about it? You want to come this way? I bet you do. Or you can fireball the castle. That's also an option. But I bet you want to come this direction. I mean... Look how much stuff is over here. There's, like, me? Yeah, you just do your set of burpees on over this way. Now he's going to do his burpees towards the cat, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, more than just burpees. That's right. Do more of this. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it is just gotta gotta make him just move under it. So that does a pretty significant amount of damage to him, and if I had actually decided not to try for going for the face, I might have also been able to do some significant damage to him. Yeah. That's a thing. Tried to set the bomb, but wind effect. Ow. Like, seriously, that was just the tail wiggling during that attack, and it did that much damage. So, I've got an idea. If this jerk wants to fly, why don't I at least make use of that time? That's why. Because he was just barely in range to fireball me. That's a pretty good reason to not make use of that time. It's not like I'm not going to try again, though. See? That worked well. He's a little quick. Oh, okay. Okay, bye. What a camera angle. nothing. I'm going to have to do this fight again off camera because I'm pretty sure I have to actually slay it in order to unlock the Crimson Fatalis. And I got to slay three Fatalises to unlock the White Fatalis, so. Yeah. What a kill screen. Well, not kill screen, but you know what I'm talking about.
It actually is framed pretty well. I like it. It'd be pretty okay if there was no ballista bolt just hanging out there. Looking like someone left a cursor on the screen. A lot of cash for not so much work. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when either we'll be fighting Crimson Fatalis, if I kill Fatalis off screen between these two, or we'll be doing something else. I'm not 100% sure what'll happen, but I suppose you'll find out. See you then, friends.